The first trailer for Sony's Morbius does an excellent job setting up the core story of the film. A doctor transforms into a vampire after attempting to cure his rare blood disease, but it also features subtler moments that offer significance. These are the small details you missed in the Morbius trailer. The first 45 seconds or so of the Morbius trailer establish that the doctor is suffering greatly because of his illness. He's shown with wires taped to his head and neck, struggling to walk with forearm crutches, and hunched over a bed as a fellow doctor meticulously counts the vertebrae of his spine protruding from his skin. In a voiceover, he says, I'm running out of time. It soon becomes clear that Dr. Morbius intends to cure his blood disease using non-traditional medicine and his own devices, which raises a red flag to the woman working alongside him. When Morbius says that what he's discovered would be a cure, she asks, At what cost? This line is more than just the musings of a concerned colleague. It's foreshadowing of the highest degree. The woman who speaks it is Martine Bancroft, Morbius's fiance, played by Adria Arona. Throughout the Marvel comics, Martine actually dies several times, is resurrected, and eventually becomes a living vampire herself. It's unclear at this point in time, however, whether the Morbius film will depict the death, subsequent revival, and transformation of Martine. While several members of the Morbius cast were announced far before the release of this first trailer, one actor's involvement in the film came as a complete surprise and was only revealed through the new footage. At the very end of the Morbius trailer, Michael Keaton appears as Vulture, aka Adrian Toomes, the villain of Spider-Man Homecoming. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? Those who stuck around for the Spider-Man Homecoming post credit scenes might recognize what the salvager slash arms trafficker is wearing in the Morbius trailer. As a hooded Morbius approaches his white van, Vulture is shown donning the same prison jumpsuit he was wearing in Homecoming's mid-credit stinger. Pardon the, uh, scorpion pun. Anyway, since his appearance in the Morbius trailer is so brief, there's no way to tell when exactly the meeting between Vulture and Morbius takes place in the movie's timeline. Because of that, it's also not clear how significant Keaton's role in the film will be. That doesn't mean Keaton's appearance is all for show and shock, though. Vulture's brief end-of-trailer reveal might allude to the early foundations for a potential Sinister Six team-up on the silver screen. While the Spider-Man villain team has had numerous iterations in the comics, several of its key or occurring baddies, including Venom, Mysterio, Doctor Dr. Octopus and Green Goblin have already appeared in both Sony's Spidey offerings and its shared MCU installments. While nothing has been confirmed, Keaton's surprise cameo in Morbius is much larger than the return of a famous face. It could signal a more connected and expanding web of the Spidey universe. With Sony launching and planning to launch so many Spider-Verse movies, it's hard to keep up with who and what we can expect to see out of the growing web of adaptations. One image captured within the Morbius trailer helps further that confusion, or air of mystery, depending on whom you ask. In the first look footage, in a blink and you'll miss it moment, Morbius walks past a mural of Spider-Man with the word murderer spray-painted across it. There are a couple of things to pull apart from the moment, the first being Spidey's outfit. It appears to be a blend of several Spider-Man suits, but looks most similar to Sam Raimi's version. If you can remember all the way back to the 2000s, Tobey Maguire embodied the web-slinger when Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy was dominating silver screens. If you were a hardcore fan of those films, you may have also bought the PlayStation 4 exclusive Spider-Man game featuring an animated version of Peter Parker wearing a Raimi-like suit, which is seemingly the same suit shown in the mural that appears in the Morbius trailer. The second noticeable thing is the actual language covering the image. The murderer statement points to Tom Holland's most recent turn as Peter Parker in Spider-Man Far From home. During the final scenes of that film, Peter is accused of killing Mysterio using footage the villain doctored and sent to J. Jonah Jameson, who broadcasted it in a video posted to the Daily Bugle.net. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the f there's no clarity about what this moment in the Morbius trailer could mean just yet, but here's to hoping a legit Spidey cameo happens in the theatrical cut. Later on in the trailer, there's a shot of Matt Smith's character walking cautiously through a seemingly abandoned subway station. In the film, Smith doesn't play some random tie-wearing dude who likes to walk around alone at night. He plays Loxious Crown. Smith's Loxious Crown is said to be the central antagonist of Morbius. However, Smith's character has been described as, quote, Morbius's best friend. So what's going on here? In the Marvel comics, Crown is best known as Hunger, another vampire whose origin is unknown and who has nothing to do directly with the events that lead to Morbius transforming into a pseudo-vampire. But there's also the character of Emil Nikos, Dr. Morbius's closest friend and lab associate who dies as a result of Morbius's post-transformation confusion and bloodlust, only to be made into a vampire by another unrelated comic character later. 
Since Smith's character has Crown as a last name, it's been assumed from the get-go that he's partially inspired by the pre-existing Marvel antagonist, and the rest of his characterization is filled in by the general concept of Emil Nikos. Smith's character will reportedly be afflicted by the same blood disease Morbius is, which is the basis of their friendship, and perhaps its ultimate destruction, once Morbius kind of sort of cures and curses himself. The Morbius trailer also gives us a good look at Tyrese Gibson's character, whom we know from one of the actor's Instagram posts to the FBI agent Simon Stroud. In the pages of Marvel Comics, Stroud is an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. turned mercenary who seems to always find himself tangled up with the weirder denizens of the Marvel Universe, including Morbius. Stroud is sporting some interesting tech in his brief appearance in the Morbius trailer. He's seen wearing a sleeve that appears to offer augmentation for his right arm, and specifically his hand. Stroud was never depicted as having any kind of enhancement in the comics, and this one raises an interesting question. Who built the thing? Stroud often works side by side with Morbius in the comics, and this tech looks like the kind of thing that the good doctor, with his Nobel Prize winning expertise in physiology and medicine, might have constructed. Obviously, Stroud won't be depicted as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent in this film, as the Sony universe of Marvel characters and the Marvel Cinematic Universe are still ostensibly separate, for now. Still, Stroud's dapper attire and the fact that he's seen backed by a number of cops seems to indicate that he'll be in some kind of position of authority, meaning that Morbius may very well have a friend in high places to help and stick him from tricky situations. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.